I'm Julian Sanchez at the Cato Institute. You may have heard that Congress is currently debating what to do about three important provisions of the Patriot Act that are set to expire at the end of this year. Some legislators have been trying to add common sense privacy protections to the new surveillance powers the government was given in the aftermath of the 9-11 attacks. If you get your news from Fox, however, you may believe that Americans are going to have to make a choice between their security and their civil liberties. Three key provisions of the Patriot Act could soon be history. Here's a look at what's on the chopping block. First, the so-called lone wolf provision, changing the rules on, on who can be monitored by the Fed. Second, the business records provision, expanding the range of what documents the Feds can evaluate. Third, roving wiretaps, increasing powers to monitor phone lines or Internet accounts. So here's the funny thing. Not actually true. The truth is, Democrats and Republicans both want to renew that business records provision. Some Democrats have proposed restrictions that would ensure that the FBI couldn't get the records of innocent Americans, but only of suspected terrorists, or at least people suspected of talking to terrorists. Nobody's arguing that it should be gotten rid of entirely. Same goes for that roving wiretap authority. Everybody agrees about renewing it. So that's two out of those three provisions that are definitely not going anywhere. Senator Russ Feingold did offer up a bill that would have let the lone wolf provision, which has never been used, expire. But in the legislation supported by most of the Judiciary Committee's Democrats, it's still there. There is some disagreement about what kind of safeguards are necessary to protect the privacy of ordinary American citizens while letting the FBI go after the bad guys. But Fox tries to make it sound as though someone wants to take away the FBI's investigative powers altogether. You know, if a lot of Democrats have their way in Congress, Bill, at the end of the year, a lot of these provisions that we know were used to capture Najibullah Azazi will go bye-bye. Well, that's not quite right either. We know they didn't use the lone wolf provision, one, because it's never been used, and two, because Najibullah Azazi was a legal permanent resident. So the way that power works, they couldn't have used it against him. They did use roving wiretaps, and there's a pretty good chance they used those business records orders, too. But since they already had a tip that Zazi had trained with Al-Qaeda, there's no reason to think any of the reforms that have been proposed would have made any difference. Okay, so two out of three, they're completely in fantasy land. But it's true that some Democrats talked about getting rid of that lone wolf provision. Here's why they think it's so important. It's very important to note that back in 2001 that there was not this, this lone wolf authority. And because of that, there is strong evidence that they could not go in and get information on Zacharias Musawi's computer, the, the so-called 20th hijacker bill. You already know what I'm going to say, right? Uh, not true. A bipartisan Senate report looked at the facts back in 2003. It turns out the FBI had all the evidence they needed to get a FISA warrant for Musawi's computer. Unfortunately, that evidence never got forwarded to the FBI lawyers who would have gotten them that warrant. Partly because supervisors didn't understand the FISA law and didn't understand the powers that they already had, powers that would have been sufficient to get a warrant. There's folks on the left who would say that all of this is evidence that Fox News is lying to viewers, but I don't think that's true. There's so many weird little mistakes in this report, so many strange random inaccuracies that I think it just shows they don't know what they're talking about. Terrorist Surveillance Act, which allows you to wiretap terrorist phone lines. There's no such thing. Uh, Mike DeWine proposed a bill called the Terrorist Surveillance Act a few years back. Never passed. Doesn't exist. The Bank you know, Records Act that allows you to go and look at their, at their banking activity. He made that up too, but I'm pretty sure he's talking about national security letters. The thing is, the FBI's had the power to use those to look at terrorist bank records since 1986. The debate now is over whether there should be limits that say they need to have at least some kind of reason to think that the records either belong to a terrorist or to someone doing business with terrorists, as opposed to any old person whose records they think might be relevant. The, thing, the investigators have now said that they want to use information gathered through the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act, which is to say they wiretapped his phones and got this information. So clearly these arrests, which foiled would-be terrorist plots just in recent weeks, were made possible by these provisions. Fun fact, uh, power to wiretap under the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act dates from 1978, so not actually at issue here. Not a power that anyone has ever proposed taking away. This is actually my favorite bit, the text on the side where they say that the Patriot Act is going to get renamed as the Justice Act. Uh, I, I guess because people who care about civil liberties hate patriotism so much they can't even stand to have it in the name of a law. The Justice Act is the name of the law that Russ Feingold proposed. Remember the one I mentioned earlier? That would reform the Patriot Act, not rename it. 
The funny thing is, it's just a few months ago that Fox was up in arms about a Department of Homeland Security report that they said painted all conservatives as suspected terrorists. You'd think they might be a little more friendly with the idea of some reasonable checks and balances. Anyway, if you're interested in some better facts than you've seen in the clips from Fox, come by Cato at Liberty. I'll be blogging about these issues for at least the rest of the week. Be seeing you.